Hello and welcome to this Antonov Live tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I want to talk about the properties of this voice recognizer. So, you can define pl uh, placeholder and use placeholders inside of phrases. Uh, it will change often from one mission to the other. For example, you can for a flag signal from a call sign to change uh, the number of the flag to the other call sign. So, then you need Python 2. And there's another airplane signal. Uh, it runs in the call area. It's just some uh, tactics inside of the app. Uh, this one has its own call sign, so it will change it from mission to mission. Uh, this one can write in some text if I want to do it later. It's actually sent to the set percentage and sent to check magic. So that's the magic. My own call sign could maybe have been named, I want to say, it's a snake. Because it's in the future that a snake has a flag suit. Otherwise, so, what would it look like, actually? This is what I would have to say. I should be to clear these commands. The next slide might be different. Next slide, maybe it's called German. And my course on the next slide would maybe be here in Python. And right? Python 4. So, I would not use a very long command list with uh, 3,000 extra commands to have all the uh, possible varieties of variations of the mixture that I have taken for. No, instead I just have these commands and these new placeholders and I would have to change these before every slide. But well, it's not maybe not what you really what you don't really like. And also there are maybe some games and simulations out there where you uh, just a placeholder change it. In the middle of the flight, or in the middle of the mission, it can be seen. So, if you have that, if you would like to have it uh, configured on the fly, so that you don't have to leave your mission and uh, go inside of the program and then select a new call sign, it would be feasible, but it would not be really nice. Huh? So, it's more nice to have two different lighting pointers saying in your frequency percentage here, here the input you want to have. And if you have a German recognizer, you could use the German sentence here. I have the input to have here configure placeholder, I would say, and stop configuration to stop the configuration of the view about it here. You have to check it in order for it to work, for it to make it work. And you can read about stuff here too. About all this. So, what I want to show you this one now here two break left. So, this would be an ordinary command now. And now, configure placeholder. Configure placeholder. Call sign right hook. Uh, AREX sentry. Number four. So now we can look inside the editor. So this works. This doesn't work on the editor. Uh, on the editor, you can select it yourself. But that's not so uh, good at the moment. So now, if you displace the exchange, it could be more than one. So if you display these change stuff. Also, be more than one word. For example, if you have to say the individual one, uh, e, for example, it's just the same in the word. O, but that is not the one that maybe people chose to. Change to. And uh, wait for it. Now, these are different options. Could be more than one word. Let's change that to the exact same. And then that makes it very easy. And then you see something 
When you display these two statement objects, then you should not do multi editing to do the search function because it might directly point at one select in your statement object. So this is maybe not what you want. So stick to the original phrases and uncheck the why you are using editing. Stick to the original phrases and the statement that you have. The original phrases that you have. Not when you do the statement that you have. Not when you, you should not select display and synonym and or arrival while you are editing in the multi editing. Okay? So that's what the previous is. Take care of that. Do edit. Also, the rivals. And now, before you want to see how the actual command looks like, I have to here make your selections of the way you are looking at the moment. And also, the three centimeters you can do. And maybe you would like to have a focus this command. So, first go here, right with the text, I forget the text here, so sorry. Right with the text, and it up so you have to modify the command with the link in order that it's flat and it's flat. So you should see about that. You can edit these lists of code. You can still add stuff just by the way. Try to get to see that. So, yes. And this is sand. Sand plus stone. Okay. Instead, we don't have to edit the very easy to get close something meaningful. Or you can select edit here. You see, or you maybe you want to sort it. Sort it. And then you want to have stone on top anyway. Stone on top. Okay. Now with stone on top, and the rest is just both. Okay. Now you can also go there. You can also sort all these here. Check all this, and let's have a look. I can use the rival inside of synonym. There will be different components of synonym, but it is possible. So just have to remind you of that one. It's quite nice. And also, I can do the placeholder, the rival inside of the response parameter. So this could be both of them. My actual call sign could be used when the voice that is responding to me could address me directly with my actual call sign. So this is nice too. This would be replaced before it gets spoken by my actual patient call sign. And then get it. So there will be uh, audio feedback before it's here. So I'll take everything that I can. 